All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vion Adesa, where the United States and Iran are not yet at war. But the war of words between the top leadership is intensifying by the minute. And President Donald Trump, who loves to put out his messages on Twitter, has once again threatened Iran with a major retaliation if U.S. assets he claims are targeted. After his Florida in his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida, Donald Trump returned to the White House and he's hit the ground running. Now, Trump had earlier threatened to attack cultural centers in Iran and now he has warned of quote-unquote major retaliation. He's also had a similar warning for Iraq as well. Earlier in the day, the Iraqi parliament, remember, in what would be described as an unprecedented move, had voted to expel all U.S. troops from the country. Now, Trump said that he would hit Iraq with crippling sanctions if U.S. troops are asked to leave Iraq at once. Now, according to Trump, his proposed sanctions on Iraq will be f so effective that they'll make sanctions on Iran look pretty tame. Now, Trump also said that the Americans have a very expensive military base in Iraq and would not leave until the Iraqis have paid for the base that serves American interests. The Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif has responded to Donald Trump's threats of targeting Iranian cultural centers. The Zarif retorted that Trump's threat is tantamount to a war crime and breaches the norms laid down by international law. Now, the United Nations Security Council prohibits targeting of cultural heritage sites. The United Nations describes a war crime as those violations of international human humanitarian law that incur individual criminal responsibility under international law. The prohibited acts include intentionally directing attacks against buildings dedicated to religion, education, art, science or charitable purposes, historical monuments or hospitals.